Expendables just keeps on rolling. Only a couple more weeks left. I'm so fucking goddamn excited. Expendables 2 about to come up there. I'm so fucking jacked up. I'm about to jump out this window right here. I just can't contain myself. A couple more movies to view. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Red Scorpion. Red Scorpion stars Dolph Lundgren. He stars as Lieutenant Nikolai Rechenko. He's basically just like a big Frankenstein motherfucker for the Russian army. All his commanders and shit, they always look and look at him like with a fucking weird glint in their eyes. Going, he's a killing machine. He's a killing machine. That's all he fucking say. Talk about how he's a perfect killing machine. In this movie, fucking Russians, the Cubans, the evil motherfuckers, they're trying to invade Africa or parts of Africa. And of course, they meet resistance from like a ragtag group of fucking guerrilla soldiers. Basically what happens is, they bring Dolph in, they're like, man, we gotta crush this resistance. We're gonna send you in, let you infiltrate these motherfuckers. And the way they do it is they have Dolph fucking swig on a bunch of vodka and shit. He fucking walks through the town, everybody's staring at him and shit. He goes to a local watering hole full of Africans, full of Cuban soldiers, full of Russian soldiers. Walks in and starts fucking pissing in everybody's face, knocking shit over, slapping whores on the ass and shit. Cause a big ruckus, the fucking military police come in, arrest him, throw him in a cell. He's in there with one of the African leaders, trying to make, you know, buddy up in the fucking cell and shit, so they gotta escape together. So Dolph, he fucking escapes, and it's a huge escape scene, man. It's like some Indiana Jones shit. They steal a big truck, and Dolph has to climb on top. He jumps off onto a motorcycle, jumps back on the truck. That fucking shit is exciting. So basically what happens is he gets inside the rebel fucking camp. You know, he meets the fucking African leader, the resistance. They get, you know, kind of close and shit. Everybody go to sleep. Dolph sneaks in with a knife trying to kill him. Lights turn on. Fucking everybody just standing there with AKs at Dolph's head. They whip the shit out of him, but they don't kill him. And the reason they don't kill him is they know for, you know, failing this mission, the Russians will do even worse to him. And they do. He, they leave him for the Russians, fucking Russians. They take him back to the jail. They start fucking poking holes in him and shit with, like, these little, like, fucking shish kebab looking things sticking him through his pecs and his bicep and shit. Man, it's fucking brutal. So basically, of course, Dolph being a badass, he escapes that. He runs out into the desert. I mean, he's really literally in the middle of the fucking desert, man. Fucking helicopters looking for him and shit, nowhere he can go. He's fucked now, man. The Africans fucking hate him. The fucking Russians hate him. What's he gonna do? So he goes out, he's walking. Motherfucker about to just to die in this desert, man. About to collapse. Hungry, thirsty, everything else. And then he meets a fucking African bushman. Comes out to help him. By the way, uh... <laughs> I don't know if like Bushman is a correct term, like that's some racist shit, but that's not my term, that's what they call the guy in the movie, they call him the Bushman and shit, so sorry if that's offensive, but that's what they call him in the movie. And what's interesting is, the Bushman is actually, he, I don't know if he's a real Bushman, but he really, like the guy in the movie, I mean he looks old and shit, but this guy was actually 95 years old, man, they found him over there, they got him in the movie and shit. It's just, you know, it's just like an interesting, realistic touch. He gets Dolph healthy again and shit. The Russians, they go on more and more raids, killing all these innocent people and shit. And Dolph's like, fuck it, man. I'm going to join your resistance. He goes back with the African guerrillas. You know, they want to kill him and shit. But he's like, fuck it. I'll, you know, I'll fight. I'll lead. Because I'm the fucking Russian kill machine. So, end of the movie. They go very much like Schwarzenegger's Assault and Commando, but in my opinion, even better. They go in, they start slaughtering all the Russians, running them out of fucking Africa and shit. Dolph kills about 100 motherfuckers at least. He gets a couple big ass fucking machine guns, blows up a helicopter. I mean, it's just, it's fucking badass. I wouldn't even call this 80s action cheese. It's done really well. It's directed by Joe Cito, who directed Friday the 13th Part 4, The Final Chapter, which is one of the best Friday the 13th everybody knows. He also did Invasion USA. Red Scorpion, a bunch of other movies. I was actually a big fan of him. He actually directed my favorite video game of all time, Night Trap, which was really like a movie that you played where some girls was in a house and they had their titties bouncing out and shit and some little mummy like alien fuckers would cr crawl the walls and pull them in and shit. You watch his movies, yeah, Friday 13, Red Scorpion, whatever. Like, these are considered B movies, but you watch them, I swear to God, man, they got better acting, better writing, better action than like $100 million movies a day. People just didn't realize how good they had it in the 80s. This movie, Dolph being so good, the action being so good, the direction, it really seemed epic and, you know, have a lot of emotion and heart in it, like you feel for the African people getting all slaughtered and shit. I want to have to give Red Scorpion 9 out of 10. It is really that fucking good. Alright, picture and sound, this being a Blu-ray, this movie, as far as I know, wasn't even out on DVD before. If it was, I couldn't find it. All of a sudden, it comes out of nowhere on Blu-ray. I'll tell you what. They must have had to done some kind of big restoration because this thing fucking looks great. Not a scratch on the print, no dirt, no bullshit. It's very clean, very clear. Colors are crisp. Everything just looks fucking good. Did a brand new 
DTS HD Master Audio sound on this. It sounded really good. Like a lot of these times when they remix these old movies, they say, "Oh, we did a 5.1 remix and it just sounds stereo." You get the direction of panning with the rear channels and everything was really good during the action scenes. So picture and sound, really, I did not expect it to be this great. Then so fucking Snaps Films, they knocked it out of the park. I got to give it 10 out of 10. Special features, this is Synapse Films, like I said, they're a very small distributor, a lot of people were even shocked that they had this movie come out. You know, they could have just fucking thrown Red Scorpion out there and been like, hey, here's the movie, you fuckers haven't seen it in 20 years, you know, and then the cult fuckers would have bought it. But they went out of their way to do a special edition. They got the audio commentary with Joe Zito, which is really good. They got a fucking, a great 25 minute, like, interview with Dolph, modern day. Where like he really talks about his whole beginning career, how he got in action movies and shit, basically because he was just porking Grace Jones back then. Also, next thing he knew, he's getting famous. Another great special feature on here is they got a nice interview with the producer, and this is very fucking interesting. And I can't believe they've pulled this motherfucker out of his hiding place. But they got the guy who produced this movie, who was none other than Casino Jack Aronoff. That's right, the famous ass lobbyist. They made documentaries about him. They made a fucking movie about him, starring Kevin Spacey. He produced Red Scorpion as like a piece of propaganda against some Russian evil shit going on in foreign lands. He wanted to wake people up and be like, hey man, these Russians are slaughtering people and shit. So, you know, he went, instead of making like a boring, dry documentary, his goal was like, I'll make a kick-ass action movie. In that way, you know, I'll shed some light on what's going on in these countries. Also, another interesting thing about this is the gore effects was done by none other than fucking gore effect legend Tom Savini. They got a little like 10 minute interview with him where he just talks about like the challenges of like shooting this shit out in the middle of fucking Africa and shit. Talks about some of the makeup he did and how hard it was to pull it off and shit on the locations. And then they got another thing about another 10 minutes just home video shit that Tom Savini shot. You know, like behind the scenes, Dolph getting all oiled up, fucking grabbing big machine gun and shit. It's kind of fucking cool. Also, they have the theatrical trailer, TV spots. They also have like a little uh, picture gallery. It shows you like, it's pretty long, man. It lasts about seven minutes long. It shows you all the different like posters and shit from around the world as well as like behind the set photos and shit. They also include a little fucking book in here, man. Fucking Red Scorpion book. Tells you all about the making of the movie, how troubled it was, how they caught a lot of shit for having to shoot in South Africa. The movie got boycotted and shit because of that. Kind of fucked up the release. That's why the movie is kind of, you know, lost or whatever. Also, what's interesting is they have a reversible cover. I like this cover right here. With like the real picture of Dolph. But if you want to, you can flip it around. And have this like little cartoon 80s type bullshit of Dolph. Which I'm sure was probably the original poster. So many special features going on with this disc, man. I gotta give it 10 out of 10. Fucking Expendables 2. Almost here. Fucking can't wait. Keep watching. Keep counting. I got a fucking calendar on the wall. I just mark the days off till Expendables 2 come out. And then when Expendables 2 come out, I'm just gonna fucking take that calendar and fucking throw it in the trash because I don't give a shit about anything else. Expendables 2. Fucking be there. Be square, motherfuckers.